Having downloaded an unzipped file for QuickBooks, the next operation is in fact to restore that backup. So what we're going to do here is to open QuickBooks and you will see at the moment it says there is no company open. So we look at the various options. We could choose the sample, pay, sample business. What we're going to do is open or restore an existing company. So I'm going to click on that. And what we're going to try and do is restore a backup company. So I say next, and it's a local backup because it's on this computer. And it asks us where the backup company is. And so we look there and we should be able to find the file folder there for the stupid data files. Chapter one data, there we are. Right, click on next. And it will ask us for the name of this. Now you'll see the default name is your name in brackets, chapter one. So what we're going to do is alter that so that we have got our name. So this is now David Hopcroft, chapter one. So I'm going to save that. See, it is restoring the data. Let's take a few seconds for that. And we don't really need that in the future. So I'm going to just cut it out. And it says this is a QuickBooks sample file. Don't use it for practice while learning QuickBooks. But we can, in fact, because we just set it up and altered the name so that it is a company file in our name. So click OK. Our data has been restored successfully. Click OK again. And you will find these messages will plague you a little. Uh, just to know to get rid of that one. And now we have our company file, which is now open because we've restored our backup. And you will see that it is known as Chapter 1, Rock Castle Construction.